Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. And in this video, I wanna show you how to do a folding accordion transition. Now this transition, it's kind of a cool way of doing it. And I hopefully you will learn a lot in this video. And something to notice is that this, this footage is it's dynamic this transition I I can come in here and I can just swap out this background layer you know I'll just actually just move it so you can see here's a different frame and I come back in here and that that frame is there so I can even go in and swap out and take out that footage and everything will work just the same and also a thing about this is I can control the transition with this slider so let me show you how I did it. First off, let's just create a new composition. And let's just call this folding transition. 1920 by 1080. Let's bring in some footage. Doesn't have to be of me, but you know, it might be a better project that way. So let's take this. I'm going to pre-compose this footage. Command Shift C on a Mac we'll do the pre-compose hotkey and I'm just going to call it footage and move all the attributes into that so now anything I can do in this composition I can swap out this footage with anything else and it will automatically update um, into my transition so first thing I want to do is I need to find the exact center and I'm going to do that with the rulers and so I have the rulers open but if you don't have it the rulers on it's command or control R will bring up your rulers and I'm gonna just grab here on the left and then I'm gonna look and over here on the side you can see there's info and it's at 917 and I want to get it to exactly 960 and it's not seeming to snap right in the right spot so I'm gonna get it close enough zoom in and then right here let's come back in and bring it right to 960 because that is halfway of 1920. 1920 divided by 2 is 960. And now that I have that at 960, I'm going to select my layer, grab this rectangle tool, and then hover over again so my cursor is on 960. And you can see it up there on the X value. I'm going to click and just drag over to the left. And then I have the left hand side selected. I'm going to take this, duplicate that footage, go, let's go into the mask, and then let's do subtract on the top one. So this bottom one, let's just rename this left, and this top one will be right, and I've got the, the footage, the left and the right side. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to format it so the anchor point is right on the left, and on this one it's right on the right. So let's go to the right, open up anchor point, and for the X value I want to put 1920, and then for the position I also want to put 1920. And then for the left value, let's go to the anchor point, X value is 0, and for the position, X value is 0. Now what we have here is this anchor point is right on the left. So if I were to go in and scale this, you can see it scales right to that anchor point, which is what I want to do. So that's what we need to do to set up this, these two pieces of footage at the beginning. Now next we need to create some shadow lines. So I'm going to go into this footage, create a new solid, and let's make a black solid make it comp size click OK and then let's go to effect generate checkerboard let's go into the blending mode hit screen to the size let's go to width and height sliders and then the height sliders we need to crank that up to as high as it'll go and then move the Y value down now at this point we want to change our width to 120 and then let's take this and just so we can see bring the transparency down to 
50%. And you can kind of see I've already got some, some of these shadows and highlights going on here. Now let's go back into our folding transition. And now we need to make a gradient. So this, I'm kind of giving you some weird steps here, but I promise you it'll all make sense in the end. So just follow along closely, put in the same values that I am, and everything will work out. So let's create a new solid. And this one needs to be 1080 pixels wide by 480 pixels high. Click OK. Now let's rotate this. So I'm going to hit R and it'll bring in my rotate 90 degrees. And then go to the effect, generate gradient ramp. Now we need to then take this, duplicate it, go to rotate and rotate this negative 90 degrees. And then position, I'm just going to go in here and hit plus 480. You can actually do, you can actually do some math right there on the timeline. So then I'm going to take both of these, highlight them. Let's move them over to the very edge. And these should be at um, 1680 and 1200 is the position, the, the um, x value. So let's go now and duplicate these and then move these over to this edge. Okay, there we go. If you look right here on the x value, it's 720, 1680, 240, 1200. And that's where all these line up. Now, what I want to do is take all of these, pre-compose it, let's call it gradient. Let's go into that composition and add a new adjustment layer. And to this adjustment layer, let's go to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile, and then go into the tile width and add, set it to 25. And this is going to be the gradient I use to create the accordion look. So let's go back into our folding transition and let's just take this gradient and we can hide it, put it down at the bottom. Now let's start to begin to create our folding look. So let's start on, let's start on the right side, go to Effect, Distort, Displacement Map. Let's go ahead and hide the left one just so we can kind of see what we're doing. Let's go into the displacement map and set it to the gradient. Turn the horizontal to zero. And let's turn this max vertical to 50. And you can see it's created kind of this look. Let's see how high we can go. 100. OK. Now what we want to do is before we take this and copy it to the other footage, let's add a controller. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, Null Object. I'm going to take this null, call it Control. And on that null object, I'm going to go to Layer, Expression Controls, Slider Control. And then let's just twirl this down so we can see this down in the timeline. I'm going to come into this right here and then go to the effects displacement map I'm going to pick whip so I'm going to hold down option and click on the stopwatch and then just pick whip the slider control but what I want is I want it to be I want it to be 0 when this is 100 and I want it to be 100 when this is 0 so the way to do that is to come in here and before this expression that it created I'm going to go to the beginning and put 100 minus that value. So now when it's at 0, that's when it's its highest. And when it's at 100, that's when it's back to normal. OK, so now that I've got that, I can now take this displacement map, copy it, and paste it onto the left side. And you can see here now with this slider, I have control over how deep and um, displaced this accordion is. Now that's not all I want to do. I also want to make these things kind of slide in. So how I do that is a very similar way. Let's go into the scale and I'm going to pick whip. So option click on the stopwatch, use the pick whip, go up to the slider. But this time it creates a temp variable 
and sticks it in for the x and y value of the scale. And what I want to do is I want the second value to still be 100 and the first value to be the temp. Now let's take this, copy that expression, go into the scale of for the left one, option click on the stopwatch, and then just paste in that expression. Now what we have here, you can see that this is kind of accordion in. Now the last thing to do is to now have this slider affect the transparency of the white and the black stripes that we have inside of the grade, uh, inside of the footage. So I'm going to take this footage timeline, I'm going to move it up to here. This way I can link from this timeline down to this timeline. Let's go to this black solid, option click, and let's type 100 minus, let's go to the slider, and I'm going to take this whole thing, put it in parentheses, and then times 0.75. And what that's going to do is when this slider is at 100, let's move this back down here so we can see, it's going to be 0. But when this slider is at 0, it's going to be a transparency of 75%. So now you can see how the light and the dark is just kind of fading away as it comes together. And that's really it. That's the transition. Really easy to do. Um, I hope you learned some cool stuff here. Now in the example I had just some another text layer underneath it so you can kind of see under uh, you have a nice reveal. So really that's all there is to it. Kind of a cool transition using a displacement map and using some expressions and some linkings and you're able to create this cool accordion transition. So I hope you have fun and I'd like to hear if you have any questions or comments about this tutorial. And please excuse the voice, I've had a cold so my voice might sound a little bit funny, but I am feeling better and by next week I should be 100%. So if you have any questions or comments, just put them down in the comments below. And if you learned something great from this tutorial from how to do this transition using the displacement map, then consider sharing this video onto your social networks of choice and that's so other people can learn from it as well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week.